And now, let's make your dogs bark. Are they barking? You are watching this video because your doorbell is broken or not working. And you need to replace your doorbell. I will show you how. All right, so I've taken this doorbell, basically taken the screws out. And you could have any form of doorbell possible. And you take the screws out, and then you take the back two electrical wires off. What these electrical wires do is, the, the, actually what the doorbell does is push in and touch the contact to let these two electrical wires touch. Now let me show you what happens when your electrical wires touch. Listen to this. Let's see if I can do it. And then the dogs probably bark. It's wired through your electrical system. And on this end, basically the bell is hidden behind the box. You can also see the wires inside your doorbell box that's up on your wall. And this is where the signal ends up and rings your chime. And that wire runs through the wall, probably runs down to your circuit breaker box. And you'll see a little transformer, which transforms that electrical impulse down to just a few volts. You're going to have this transformer that provides the power to light your lighted doorbell switch that's on your front door. You can see the red wire. You can see the white wire. Those are the same wires that power your doorbell and also sends a signal up to the actual mechanism that rings the chime in your house. This is usually located on your fuse box. I'm guessing it's about six or nine volts. Who knows? Maybe if you guys know, you could tell us. Well, you remove your doorbell and then you, you have a new one ready to go, like this one, nice and new. And don't worry if like, see these two screws? I got the wrong size, I got a little one. You can put a new screw into here. The main thing is you wanna wire it so that the back has the wire placed right on it. And then you screw it tight. So you put the white wire on the top. Actually, just read your instructions which wire goes to which side. In my opinion, it doesn't matter. But if, if you know differently, make a comment below. Of course, if you know that much about doorbells, why are you watching my video? <laughs> we can all learn from each other, right? Well, hold on a moment. I'll get these two wires secured to the two screws on the back of your doorbell. So installing your new doorbell is simply a matter of connecting the wires to the back in accordance with the instructions that come with your doorbell. These two connections do two things. One is they light your doorbell if it is a lighted doorbell, if your system is set up to do that. And the second thing they do is provide the actual connection to ring your doorbell. You can hear it ring right now. That confirms that it is proper, properly connected. Now we just reinstall your doorbell back to the wall uh, spot where it was first installed. Sometimes the screws might be a different length so when you order you want to make sure you get the proper measurement. You can see I missed that one. I did not get the proper size. That was a much bigger doorbell in the past. This one's a lot smaller so I'm going to have to move this screw access point to this spot here. And there you go. Those are the proper instructions to the easy job of replacing your doorbell. Thanks for watching Frosty Life. Please make comments below if you've had any experiences that I didn't mention that would help others in the installment of their doorbell.